Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are all doing well. We are going to get started with lesson 22. If you are keeping track of the student teacher game at home, part one will be worth three points. Three points. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with part one. All right, touch the first word. First, we are going to read the underlined part and then we're going to read the whole word. First word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, eh, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, dress. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, e, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, near. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, oh, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, road. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, e, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, lead. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes. Shh. Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes. Shed. Next word. Read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes. E. Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes. Stream. Next word. Read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes. Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes. Chips. Next word. Read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes. K. Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes. Shack. Next word. Read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes. Or. Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, order. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, ch, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, bench. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, ooh, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, gloom. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, oh, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, coat. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, k read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, basket. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, e, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, deal. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, v, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, think. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, S -s -s. read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, that's. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, e, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, free. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, Read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, grass. Next word, read the underlined part. Get ready. Yes, uh, read the whole word. Get ready. Yes, lunch. Go ahead and give yourself three student points. Part two is going to be worth two student points. 
Notice in part two, all of the words ended in E. So think of our reading rule. If the word ends in an E, then the vowel says its name. First word, what word? Yes, late. Next word, what word? Yes, slope. Next word, what word? Yes, these. Next word, what word? Yes, those. Next word, what word? Yes, five. Now you should have five student points. Go ahead and go to part three. In part three, the first word is cook. What word? Yes, cook. Spell cook. Get ready. What word? Yes, cook. Next word is folks. What word? Yes, folks. Spell folks. Get ready. What word did you spell? Get ready. Yes, folks. Next word is throw. What word? Yes, throw. Spell throw. Get ready. What word? Yes, throw. Next word is I've. What word? Yes, I've. Spell I've. Get ready. What word did you spell? Get ready. Yes, I've. Next word is can't. What word? Yes, can't. Spell can't. Get ready. What word did you spell? Get ready. Yes, can't. Now let's go back to the beginning. You're gonna read all those words the fast way. First word, what word? Yes, cook. Next word, what word? Yes, folks. Next word, what word? Yes, throw. Next word, what word? Yes, I've. Next word, what word? Yes, can't. Next word, what word? Yes, one. Next word, what word? Yes, of. Next word, what word? Yes, dollars. Next word, what word? Yes, 17, like the number. Next word, what word? Yes, who? Next word. What word? Yes, day. Next word. What word? Yes, play. Next word. What word? Yes, didn't. Next word. What word? Yes, worked. Next word. What word? Yes, packer. Next word. What word? Yes, what? Next word. What word? Yes, matter. Next word. What word? Yes, where? Next word. What word? Yes, dressed. Next word. What word? Yes, lifted. Next word. What word? Yes, show. Next word. What word? Yes, begin. Next word. What word? Yes, because. Next word. What word? Yes, between. If you got all those words correctly, go ahead and give yourself five 
more points and you should have 10 student points. If you need more practice, go back and try them again. We gotta make sure we know all these words because they will be in our story today. But for those of you who did earn your 10 points, you will have a virtual celebration on the next slide. I hope you enjoyed your virtual celebration and were able to get up and dance and learn how to do the dab with the Go Noodle dancers. Now, we are going to start part four, but before we start part four, make sure you have your workbook handy. You're going to be answering some questions over the story we read today. So some of the questions you're going to be answering are, where did Kathy work? What did Kathy and Pam go to hear? Where did Pam lead Kathy to eat? A man came up to Kathy and Pam. What was the man's job? How much did Kathy give the man in the fish shed to cook the fish? What did Kathy give the man in the fish shed to cook the fish? And what did the man in the fish shed throw in for free? So those are some of your independent work questions that you're gonna have to answer today. Let's go ahead and get started. Kathy and the band at the bend. What is the title? Get ready. Yes, Kathy and the band at the bend. Kathy worked in a dress shop. Everybody, where did Kathy work? Get ready. Yes, in a dress shop. One day she said, I need a rest. So she went to her pal, Pam. Pam she said, Pam, let us go to hear a band play. A band is near the bend in the road. They play well. So what did Kathy and Pam go to hear? Get ready. Yes, a band. <clears throat> then Kathy and Pam went to hear the band. When they got near the bend in the road, Pam said, I need to eat. Let me lead you to a little shed. It is near the stream. They sell fish and chips in that shed. Everybody, where did Pam lead Kathy to eat? Get ready. Yes, to a little shed. So Pam led Kathy to the fish shed near the stream. The shack was packed with folks. The folks were yelling, I was next. Give me my order of fish and chips. Pam said, this is a mess. Kathy and Pam left the fish shed and sat on a bench. A man came up to them. He had a net and he was dressed in a big coat. He, sat, he set the net in the sand. Then he sat down on the bench. He asked Kathy, What's, what is the matter? Kathy said, the shed is packed. We will be late to hear the band. The man said, I am a fish packer. If you need fish, let me help you. So your, your question is, a man came up to Kathy and Pam. What was the man's job? Get ready. Yes, he was a fish packer, so he packed fish. The man went to his boat in the stream. Then he came back with a basket. Kathy said, let me pay you for those fish. Give me $5, the man said. That is a deal, Kathy said, thank you. So how much did Kathy give the man in the shed for the fish? Get ready. Yes, $5. She said to Pam, I've got lots of fish. Pam said, but those fish are not cooked. Mm, I didn't think of that, Kathy said. Then Kathy grabbed the basket of fish and ran into the fish, fish shed. 
What are you going to do? Pam asked. Kathy said to the man in the fish shed, Cook these fish and you can keep five of them. That's a deal, the man said. After the man fixed the fish, Pam said, Can you throw in some free chips? The man did that. Now, what did Kathy give the man in the fish shed to cook the fish? Go back and read if you don't know the answer. Get ready. Yes, she gave the man five fish. What did the man in the fish shed throw in for free? Get ready. Yes, some chips. Now, what you need to do, boys and girls, is go back to the beginning of the story and read it again. I need you to read it by yourself. After you have read the story by yourself, go ahead and answer the questions in your work packet. If you do not know the answer, that's okay. Go back and find the answer in the story. If you still need help, please make sure that you message me on Remind. Bye, boys and girls.